Hey folks, Ted here today with XBED and the Mira HL2. This video actually applies to the entire Mira HL series, the one, the two, and the three. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do a deep dive on this. All of the features and details actually apply to the range. Um, but before I actually get into the tent, I wanna show you some of the details about the stuff sack itself. Because it's the XBED way, we've got a lot of fun details that really make the gear work out in the field. The first thing is a really super light stuff sack that is more of a burrito bag. If I open it up, I've actually got two compartments in this. This side right here is where you'd roll the fly. If it was a wet fly, condensation, rain, whatever else, you can roll it away on this side of the stuff sack and it won't get the rest of the tent body wet during when you're packing it. On this side, you can put the tent body and the poles. Speaking of poles, there's an organizer stuff sack that goes with it. On this side right here with this opening, you can put all the poles on that in there. And on this side, you can go ahead and store the repair kit that's included. Complete repair kit with all the different fabrics, extra guy, out, uh, guy, guy lines, and the extra stakes. All of that goes right in here. So, again, made out of super lightweight fabrics. The, the whole intent here is to make things very efficient, very neat, and very organized but keep it as light and as simple as possible. To put that aside for now, actually, one other thing to mention, this is a compression bag. The straps are on the outside, and you lock this down, cinch this up, it compresses the whole load in this way and across. So you've really got a super tight load. It allows you to put things in fairly loosely and then use the compression system to actually tighten the whole package so it fits in your pack really nicely. I'm gonna put that aside for now. Let's get back to the tent. As with all XBED tents, our tents are designed to work in a whole variety of different weather conditions. The Mira Hyperlite series is designed as an ultralight, fast packing kind of a tent. So everything has been trimmed down to the very most minimum types of situations. All the feature sets are uh, detailed so that there is nothing extra on them. But what is important is that we have a full coverage rain fly so that regardless of the stormy weather you're dealing with, you've got the full coverage when you need it. You'll notice on all sides, it comes all the way down to the floor, all the way down to the ground, so you don't have any splash up going on. And you'll also notice that when I take the entry, I've got what we call the classic X-Bed rain shadow entry. So that if it's wet on the outside and I open up the fly, just like this, I don't have the door falling inside my inner tent. I can get on the inside dry and the rain stays out here easy to work with, keeps everything dry on the inside. I'm gonna zip the door back up so you can see when I'm in the tent and I wanna ventilate, we have a, a top vent right up here, this little red wand that's Velcroed on the inside. I can just take that, flip it over right here, and now I have a vent wand right there. And that happens on both sides, on both vestibules, so I've got plenty of airflow through the tent, minimize the amount of condensation. Pretty slick pretty easy and super light, great way to ventilate the tent. While we're talking about the fly, when you deploy the fly, oftentimes it's dark, you just got into camp and you want to put things up as fast as possible. Special things like color coding webbings, I can go ahead and undo this so you can see what we're looking at. So you know which way it all aligns, you can pull it out red to red, and on the other end we have gray to gray, and I'll just step over here so you can see what's going on there. Same thing gray to gray fixturing so you know exactly how the whole tent lines up you can put it up without any issues in the middle of the night now i'm going to show you a fun little feature when you're done with a fly when you set it up you're only you're trying to stay out of the rain keep things all covered and dry but if it's not going to rain at night and i want ventilation i can take this whole fly and just roll it up right along the spine of the tent this will do, does two things for the purposes of displaying, I'll show you the inner tent from here, but it also is a really nice feature when it's hot and buggy. Or if I want to do some stargazing at night. Obviously, if I'm laying in the tent right now, I can see up really well. And in the middle of the night, if it starts to rain, the fly's already deployed, all I have to do is jump out, pull it down, and red webbing to red webbing, and I'm locked down tight, nice and dry again. While we're here, you can see all of the poles run through the XBED continuous pole sleeves. 
If you watched our setup video earlier on, you noticed that all I have to do is take the orange pole and run it through the the uh, fly pole, or excuse me, the fly sleeve with the orange tape on it. Same thing with the gray pole through the sleeve that has little gray tape. And then on the very top, we've got the blue tape on the blue sleeve. So color coded, easy to do. One person can set these tents up really fast, really easy. It's all very simple. And that's important when you're on the trail. When you get into the inner tent, again, this tent is designed for maximum ventilation. It's a three season tent. It's remarkably wind stable because of its pole sleeve designs, because everything's anchored all the way across the body. I've got plenty of wind stability for something like that. Not going to be good on the ridge of a mountaintop, but certainly plenty in any kind of wooded situation or in any three season weather condition that you might be dealing with. So big, huge bug canopy. When I spin inside here, we're talking about a lightweight bathtub floor. All of the seams and the corners are taped so that you're dry clear up to the top of this fabric right here. What's really nice about doing this part of the video is that I get to get inside. The bugs are out there biting Kai. I get to get inside the bug canopy. Yikes. And zip it shut. When I zip this closed, you see these red tabs right here? They all have a little white bead on there. The white bead is a glow-in-the-dark bead. If I hit that with a headlamp or light, that thing will last, I don't know, when I wake up 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, it's still glowing brightly. So if you see stars and you have the fly on, you know it's your zipper. You're set to go there. Lay down, plenty of room for two people. And in fact, I think what's more important, actually, when the weather's inclement, when we call this a two-person tent, we're not kidding. One of the things that's been noted by a number of reviewers and blog posts out there is the amount of volume that we give you. In Amira 2, this tent, you can actually have two adults sitting up on the inside of the tent without having to uh, do any kind of squeezing of room. You've you're really got lots and lots of space on the inside. You can spin around and play a game of cards. you got loads of room on the inside. It's really voluminous. At the head end, You've got this arc pole and you've got a pocket on each side. So, and of course, because you've got two doors in here, each person has their own pocket, their own vestibule to get in and out of. While I'm in here looking at all of the details, I want to point out, actually I'll point it out right here so you can see it, this red tape. This is so you can go ahead and run a guy line if you want to. We've got one, two, three along the spine of the tent, and then an additional two across the cross pole right there. So you can run a network of, um, of cords across there so you can go ahead and dry gear, jacket, hats, hang a headlamp, or you can use one of our gear lofts on the inside. That's the Mira 2 HL. Again, the features on this tent are really similar to what we do in the Mira uh, 1 and the Mira 3. It's a great tent. You'll have a great time out there. See you on the trail.